Hi everyone, good evening, welcome. Hi Oscar, hello Lily, good evening. Hello Anna, how are you feeling today, Anna? Are you feeling better? Good. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> Hi Carlos, hello Wendy. Good evening. Hello teacher. Welcome. Um, before we go on, I will take the attendance. I will take the attendance in this moment and then we, we continue. Okay, so Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Anka Elizabeth. Present. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay. Uh, Francisca Elizabeth, then Jose Galileo, Jose Rodrigo, Laura Carolina, Luis Alfonso. Present. Okay, thank you. Then Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. Maria Ivania. Nelson Cabarrete. Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Uh, Zaira. Present Zaira. teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Jenny Suleima. Christian. Present Miss. San Ernesto. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here, Miss. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Uh, Jonathan. Present, Miss. Thank you. Juan Carlos. And present. Mayra. Okay, thank you. Mayra Moreno. Teacher, okay. present. Apúntame ahí. Here, okay. teacher. María Ivania. Okay. Brian. All right, guys. So we will continue with an activity. Uh, I need you to think about two activities you did in the morning. Well, one activity you did and one activity you didn't do today. Una actividad que hicieron y una que no hicieron. We're going to start with Luis Alfonso. Two activities, una que sí hizo y otra que no. Today. Uh, activity is a meeting with the CEO of the company. Ah, okay. Or, Puede uh, decir, I had. I had a meeting. I have I have a meeting. I have a meeting uh -huh. with the CEO of the company. The uh, CEO. Sorry, uh, the CEO, uh, yes, because uh, uh, for preparing a travel team. Mm -hmm. Okay, and one activity you didn't do? I don't sleep in the office teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, just one comment. In past tense, you didn't. Utilice este para el past tense. Didn't. Porque didn't. don't. Ajá, uh -huh, eso es para present tense. Okay. Let's Thank continue you. with Zaira. Zaira. One activity you did and one activity you didn't do. Uh, today I did an activity was to check all the rooms. Okay. Ese sería en past tense. Solo tiene que poner su verbo en past tense. I check. Present teacher. I check. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Wendy. Sí, perdió la, la conexión. Okay. Sí, ahí los agrego. Wendy, Brian, and, and Ivan. Don't worry. Ajá, ya yes, Zaira, sorry. What, what's to check in sería? To check in all the room. You check in. Que revisó o qué hizo. Ajá, sí. Solo I check. I check the room. Porque I check, check the room. Ah, ajá, okay. check in es cuando alguien se registra en un hotel. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ajá. Ok, I check the rooms. And one activity you didn't do? Mm, 
no no make I didn't no 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 send one uh, cotización ¿cómo se dice? Um, in this moment I don't have that specific word but maybe you can no, say check no, the prices no, no send which eh, one? No envié, no envié una cotización. Cu attention. Cu can, you send, attention. can you send it in the chat? Uh, yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Quotation. Quotation. Ah, okay. I will check it out. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Luis Alfonso. Thank you very much. Eh, sorry, Zaira, ya no escuché su última parte. Eh, decía no, no sé eh, cotización, pero no sé cómo se dice cotización. Ah, quotation. I didn't send the quotation. Quotation. Ajá. Ok, thank you. Les voy a ayudar un poquito, les voy a recordar simple past. Está la forma afirmativa y la negativa, ¿verdad? Cuando es una afirmativa, solo ponen el verb en past tense. Y cuando es negativa, vamos a utilizar didn't. En the verb, in, in present tense or base form. Ok. And then you use the complement. Ok. Eso es lo único que, que utilizamos. All right. So, let's continue with María Concepción. Two activities about your day. One activity you did and one activity you didn't do. I did, I did uh, attend the meeting. Ok, thank you. El did no es necesario, solo sería este verb. I attended to a meeting or to the meeting. And the activity you didn't do, María Concepción. Uh, sería I did, ya de solo usando el didn't. Ajá, solo es. I didn't uh -huh. uh, clean the office. Uh -huh. I didn't in the morning. The office in the morning. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Let's listen to Blanca. Blanca, what about you? Yeah, I, I check my clear inventory. Uh -huh. No sé, yo le había puesto el otro, do not send an email for connection problem. I didn't send, I did not send entonces, an email. Ajá. Entonces sería, I didn't send an email for connection problem. Sí. Yes, that is the oh. past tense. Ok, thank you. Okay. Let's continue, Ana. Is uh, in, uh, in working teacher in um, caso or in, in your caso. house? Uh huh. In your house. All right. Uh, I I have been and uh, work. I have been work. One more time. Um, uh, yo creo que tendría que ser I working. I working in moments. Caminé por momentos. Ajá. Uh -huh. I me walked. Me dijo ahorita. I, I walked in some moments. Uh -huh. Some moments. Y I didn't know grass the grass. Eating the grass. I didn't eat food. It's, it's yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. The grass. Grass. Uh -huh. no sé si grass. That's grass. Please, all right. Yes. Okay, thank you, Ana. Juan Carlos. Uh, 
my case teacher, I destroyed uh, Joseph parts in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And I didn't eat bread with coffee. Mm -hmm. Sweet bread. Yes. Bakery. Uh -huh. I, okay. a dieta, I am on a diet. Okay. And I will send it to you in the chat. Okay, thank you. Galileo, what about you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. And everybody, I have put two purchase orders to Papa John's food service in Orlando, Florida mm -hmm. via email. And I didn't complete all pending international audit observations. You didn't complete? I didn't com complete. Okay. okay, Galileo, great. Thank you for telling us. And Lily, let's listen to Lily. Mm. Uh, I complete the report. Mm -hmm. Oh, I complete the report of of day of the day. Uh huh. Uh, I didn't often eat. I didn't. I didn't send it. No, Send it. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, Lily. Yes, that's correct. Carlos, two activities. One activity you did, one activity you didn't do. Yeah, I made uh, the, the play roll. The play for the, sec for the second, second fortnight. Uh, fortnight. Ah, yes. okay. So every two weeks you do it. Two weeks. Yes. yes. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. And I didn't mm -hmm. the check check the report of the operation. Okay. Correct, Carlos. So guys, in this week uh, we start today uh, week number four, right, of this module, and we're going to study past tense. Okay, we're going to practice past tense. Vamos a estar practicando past tense, por si se nos ha olvidado un poquito y lo vamos a practicar más. Ok, so first reminder, el primer recordatorio sería es, hay diferentes tipos de pasado. Este es el simple, ¿verdad? Cuando no está en progreso ni nada por el estilo. Solo es simple, simple past, simple past. Entonces está su forma afirmativa, the affirmative form. And you have the negative form. Yes, this is the affirmative one. The affirmative uh, formula. And this is the negative. Negative formula. So just remember this. Recuerden, si es una oración afirmativa, no necesitan utilizar the. Did. It's not necessary. Just subject. We use the subject. The verb. And the complement. Prácticamente es la misma fórmula que usamos en simple present, pero vamos a cambiar el verbo al past tense. Así que aquí vamos a usar verbs in the past. Vamos a usar los verbos in past tense. And en su manera negativa, we use did. Didn't or you can use did not. Did not. Okay, that's the other option. And the verb goes in the base form. Solo que en la forma negativa, el verbo sí lo vamos a poner en su forma base. Okay? En ese caso. Pero vamos a estar practicando. Today we're going to study the verb be. Vamos a, a ver el verb be. Share, yes, share, the, share the screen, please. Yes. So that is what we will be studying. Vamos a estar eso, eh, practicándolo un poquito más. Let me Thank know you. when you finish. You finish, Wendy. No, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, let me know when you're done. In the meantime, do you have any questions for me? Finish, teacher. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to share the book. And we start with Arnoldo. Okay, Arnoldo, uh, how often do you attend trainings? Arnoldo? Here. Yes. How often do you attend trainings? Remember the meaning of often? And the frequency. How regular do you attend trainings? I don't have attend training uh, only when I am a new employee. The but trainings are just for new employees. Is that what every, you mean? I, I, attend, I attend training every time when I start the uh, a new job position or a new job? Mm -hmm. When was the last time that you last were time. Uh -huh, in one? One years ago. Okay, it was a long time ago. Okay, all right. Thank you, Arnoldo. And Welcome. what about you, Oscar? How often do you attend trainings uh twice a year twice a year so yes. when when do you have the next training uh, next training is in november is, oh next month yes is training with with the the strategies for the Transport. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Brian, what other events do take place at your workplace? Do you understand that question, Brian? Mm. In my work, maybe uh, when when we we are and then religious. Ah, religious events. What about parties? Do you have Christmas parties, Halloween parties? No, no. No parties. In this, uh, in, in that case, no. No, in my work, no. Why not? Mm. No sé, también por la religión. <laughs> Ah, okay. It's a it's a religious company. Yeah. Es una compañía yeah. religiosa. Yes. Ah. Association. That's why. Okay, Brian. That's fine. Thank you. Omar, can you participate? Omar? No, you can't. All right, yes. and Christian, can you can you participate, Christian? Good evening, Miss. Uh, no, I can't. Just still not feeling well. Okay, yeah. all right, Jenny. What about you? What other events? What events do you have in your company? Parties, graduations. I don't know. Our workplace, mm -hmm. the uh, holidays as Mother's Day, uh, oh, okay. Christmas, uh, New Year, New Year, New Year. even here in training. Where do you work, Jenny? In Ilicom. Again, please. Oh. Can you repeat the name of the company? Idecom. Idecom. Uh, sales uh, technology. Ah, uh, okay. No, it's the first time I, I hear the name of the company. 
Okay, but you have some, you have some celebrations. Yes, we celebration in training for the co-work with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jenny, thank you. Elena, what about your company? What other events do take place? Um, uh, many events. In other my events, uh-huh. And tomorrow, I think in English, well-being is bienestar. Well-being, uh-huh. Well-being, begging. In tomorrow, um, is come uh, country, uh, men, eh, Reinaldo Plasencia, se llama. Que va de, he attend this meeting. Reinaldo is going to attend the meeting that yes. you have tomorrow, bro. Tomorrow. Okay. And what is the event about? Eh, bienestar, se, se, así es el nombre de la, del training, bienestar. It's like for your mental health. Yes, I think so. Ah, okay. You, you're going to know till tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Elena, thank you. Thank you for your comments. So now we will listen to this conversation. We have Lana and Lorna. So it says, hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were their, who were their speakers? Um, let's see, Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Zanini from Brazil. I love Miss Zanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. I will say it one more time, okay, one more time. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome, awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was challenging, challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the, the speakers? Let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Zanini from Brazil. I love Miss Zanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. Okay, so now let's listen to you. We will start with Wendy. Wendy and Jonathan. Wendy, you are Lana. Jonathan, you are Lorna. Okay. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you uh, attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. Training was a Western. This was at uh, the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. What is difficult? Well, I wasn't difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers come. The speaker no kidding. Come. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. 
Andrew Johnson from England and Mag Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit, visit our, co our company two years ago. You're right. Okay, very well. Thank you, Jonathan and Wendy. Now let's continue. Ivania and Rodrigo. Ivania, you are Lana, and Rodrigo, you are Lorna. Lana. Hi, Lana. How are you? Did you attend the, the training last week? Lana, yes. I did the training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sound great. Tell me everything about it was is difficult. Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Missing Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit, to visit our company two years ago. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Ivania and Rodrigo. Uh, just two comments. Um, this one, we have to spell it out. CEO, that is the, the pronunciation. And, uh -huh. This country, Brazil. Remember, Brazil. Ajá, porque la Z lleva como una vibración. Okay. Brazil. Entonces, tenemos que hacer una pequeña vibra vibración, como en estas palabras: okay. zebra, zoom, eh, Brazil, Z, right? Entonces, llevan una, una vibración ahí. So, just that. Thank you. Let's go on. Let's listen now to. Um, Carlos, Carlos and Nelson. Carlos, you are Lana, and Nelson, you are Lorna. Okay. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did the training was, I went, it was at the new hotel. Sound great. Tell me, uh, everything about it, what is it's difficult? Well, I was that difficult, but it was very changing. Many international speaker came. No kidding. Who were the speaker? Oh, let's see. Andre Johnson from England and Magali Sanini, Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO the, to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos and Nelson. Okay, so just the same, the same country, uh, Nelson. A little bit country. more vibration. Mm -hmm. Cuando diga Brazil, Hay que darle un poquito más de vibración a la Z, porque Brazil. no es Brasil. 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 Ahí, Brazil. ajá. Ajá. Okay. So that okay. in England. So that in England. Ajá, eso. Yes, England. Ok. England. Ok, thank you. Let's continue. You. Blanca. Mayra, are you there, Mayra? Yes, no. teacher. Just ahí, okay. So Mayra and Blanca. Mayra, you are Lana, and Blanca, you are Lorna. Okay. Okay. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. This was a the new hotel. Sound great. Tell me everything about if it was it difficult. Well, I wasn't the difficult, but, but, but it was very challenging. 
Many international speakers can. No kidding. Who were the speaker? Who? Let's see. Andres Johnson from English and Magali, Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are, you are right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Blanca and Mayra. Okay, this word that you see here is awesome. Awesome. Would you awesome. repeat? Uh -huh. Tenía mi duda de esa uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Yes, it's different than the way you see it. In hotel, just the intonation changes, hotel. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. And now let's listen to Anna. Let's listen to Anna and Lily. All right. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Yes, I did. The training was awesome. Mm -hmm. It was at the new hotel. So great. Tell me everything about him was a difficult well it was it wasn't that difficult but it was very very child cha, palabra challenging challenges many international speaker can no kidding who were the speakers who let's let's see andre Johnson for England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are fine. Okay, thank you. Before we continue, do you have questions about the vocabulary? Something I could help you with? Vocabulary questions? Ajá. En cuestión de nombre, Lana. Ajá. ¿Es un nombre? ¿Existe o...? Lana. Ajá. Yes. Yes. Yo sí lo he escuchado en el diario de las princesas. Ajá. Ahí está una que se llama Lana. Ajá. Ajá. También sí. está la cantante. Ajá. Sí, en, en, en la palabra esa de ch chan, chan, challenging. Challenging. ¿Qué quiere decir? Challenge. Reto. Okay. Viene de la palabra reto. O desafío. Ajá. Correct. Yes. Anything else I could help you with? Yes, Miss. Eh... Ajá. En la primera de Lorna, eh, donde dice Lana, yes, the, the training was always, always ¿cómo es? ¿Qué quiere awesome. decir esa palabra? Awesome. It, it's oh, like, sorry. excellent, amazing, ah. como grandioso, asombroso. Ah, ok, mm -hmm. thank you. Yes. Any other questions about the vocabulary? No. Okay, so now we have some questions about the conversation. First, we will listen to Brian. Brian, question number one. Brian and Carlos. We will see if you have the same answer. Veamos si tienen la misma respuesta or different. How does Lorna describe the training? Brian and Carlos, how does Lorna describe the training? No, yo no le he respondido. Lorna said is is difficult, but also is as awesome. Difficult, but yeah. awesome. Awesome. Okay, thank you, Carlos. And Eli, are you there? Sorry, are you there, Eli? Ya llegó a su casita. 
sí, teacher, pero me siento ah, mal, yes. solo, ah. solo lo he estado oyendo. Ah, ok, Eli, that's lo ok. Que le conté ayer. Yes, that's fine. Ok, so let me see Galileo. What do you think? The same as Carlos? Or do you have a different opinion? I have a different opinion. Mm -hmm. opinion. Uh, she said, Lorna said the training was awesome. When Lana uh, tell, tell her if it was difficult, Lorna say it wasn't that difficult. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's only awesome. Only awesome. Not difficult. It wasn't that difficult. That difficult. Okay. All right. There is one one more aspect she mentions about the training. Okay. Awesome. Not that difficult, but and here we mm, have very challenging. But very, very challenging. Okay, thank you. Now let's go with question number two. Question. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, teacher. Yes. Yes, Luis. The training, the training was in difficult. It's a question Lana eh, está preguntando si Ask. fue difícil. Mm -hmm. si fue, pero no fue dificultoso. Ajá. El entrenamiento. It's... Correct. Yes, that is what Galileo mentioned, that it wasn't that difficult. Oh, okay. Only only challenging and challenging and, and awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Luis, for your additional comment. Now, Rodrigo, <clears throat> when was the first time Miss Zanini came to the ladies' company. Uh, when Miss Zanini visited our company two years ago. Two years ago. Yes. Okay, Rodrigo. Thank you. And Laura, do you have the same opinion as Rodrigo? Mm, uh, similar. Uh, okay. Uh, Miss uh, Zanini uh, visited the company two years ago. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Thank you, that's correct. Only, only one comment. In past tense, the pronunciation of the verb is a little bit different. El verbo en pasado suena Visit. distinto. Visited. Visited, Visited. yes. Uh -huh. Visited. Okay. Yes, okay, Laura, thank you. Then let's listen to Luis. Luis and Maria Concepcion. Question number three. Where did the training take place? In which city, which country was the training? Where did the training take place? Luis and Maria Concepcion. Was it in El Salvador, Guatemala, Nicaragua? Mexico mm -hmm. uh, was at the new hotel. Where Maria Concepcion? Where the new at uh, the new hotel? Uh, the hotel mm -hmm. in a new hotel. Okay, thank you. And does it mention the country the hotel was in? Será que dice en qué país o no dice? No, is... no. No. Are you sure? Respuesta definitiva. <laughs> New hotel. In the country? Mm. Don't mention um. the country. Only say that there are many the speakers. speakers. Are you sure, Arnoldo? Yes, yes, you're right. I'm just, I'm uh, just Brazil, kidding. Brazil, teacher. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Y está sensei. No, no Para dice. Con nosotros, si me so, no uno. quiero ver qué tan seguros están. You have to be sure. It does, sensei. Ahí no está. <laughs> ok, so, yes, you're right. Ok, so let's study how to use the verb be. We're going to use the verb be in this moment. Lo que les voy a, a, a enseñar ahorita o refrescar les va a ayudar con la pregunta que me hacían ayer. Eh, Nelson me preguntaba cuándo se utilizaba das y cuándo utilizábamos el verbi. Solo que lo vamos a ver en past tense, pero lo que vamos a ver aplica también en, en present tense. Ok, so the verbi in the past. We're going to study that. If you don't understand or you, you have questions, please ask. Okay, so we have the verb be. We have the present form and we have the past form. Okay, so let's begin with present tense. Present tense. Okay, Laura, can you tell us the verb be in present tense? ¿Cuál es el verb be in, in present tense? El you, el is, are. Um, uh -huh, that one. Am, um, is, are, right? Ah, uh, yes. Am, <laughs> uh -huh. um, is, are. Are. Yeah. Okay, there are three, three options in, in the present form. It... Hmm? No, no, está bien. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, el past form. Sería was y were. Uh -huh. In past tense, we have two options. Was and we have were. Where. Okay, so we have the subjects. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Depending on the subject, we have to use different forms of the verb be, ¿verdad? Dependiendo del el verbo, I'm sorry, del sujeto, se utiliza una forma distinta. Ok, so Luis Alfonso, I, which form do I use? Was or were? Was. Was. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you continue? You? Was or were, please. Teacher, I don't remember uh, the okay. person. What? Sorry. Can you help us, Maria Concepcion? You? Was. You was. 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 You was. Were, was. teacher. Where? Where? Yes, where? <laughs> we use where. <laughs> okay, let me let me put it here. We will change the color of this. Okay. I was. You were. Uh, Elena. He was or were. He is what? He was. Continue, Elena. She? She were. Was. It? 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 Were. Was. Were. Was. Was. Was too. Do you remember about we, Elena, or do you need help? Yes. We is where. Okay. We were. Yes. We were. Thank you, Elena. And Ivania, they was or were? Were. 
They were. Ok, thank you. If you want to, let's put it like this. Tal vez para que se les haga más fácil. Singular, singular nouns, use was. Singular nouns, was. Plural, plural nouns, were. Okay? Aplica para todo. Si es uno, was. Si tienen un sujeto, you como equivale a plural, plural, entonces por eso utilizamos where. All the time. Negative form. Was. Le vamos a agregar nada más not. Ok. Was not. Were not. And that's it. Contraction. If you want to use the contraction. This is the contraction. Was not. Or wasn't. Were not. Contraction. Weren't. Okay. This is the contraction. Wasn't and weren't. Okay, so this is the structure. Vamos bien hasta aquí? Or do we have questions about the structure? No, no questions in this moment. Okay. Can, I, can oh. I continue? Voy a cambiar the, the whiteboard, puedo? Or, or not yet? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, the use by. Ahorita vamos a ver ya cómo se utiliza el verb be in English. It's a little bit different than Spanish. No siempre se utiliza igual que en el español. Okay, so use number one. We're talking about past tense, right? Ahorita vamos a basarnos en past tense. Use number one. Descriptions. When you want to describe objects, places, people, we use the verb. And I'm going to give you examples in past tense. The movie. Okay, let's talk about the movie. Let's describe the movie. Singular, right? The movie was uh, beautiful. Okay, I'm describing uh, the actor of the movie was handsome. Description, I'm describing someone or something. Her dog wasn't, okay? We can use it in the affirmative form or negative form. Her dog wasn't smart or intelligent. That is the same, okay? Descriptions. Number two, use number two of the verb B. Locations. Locations. Okay. Locations. Ubicaciones. Locations. We use the verb be. We, I will use it in past tense. Yesterday. Yesterday. We weren't in the party. Yesterday, we weren't in the party. That is una ubicación, party, no. Next, my dad was in my house. Location, last night, okay? Si ustedes se dan cuenta, no estoy usando verbos, okay? no verbs, no es past continuous. Con este, con este, eh, con el verb be, no vamos a utilizar verbs, como pueden ver. Vamos a utilizar adjectives, locations, other things, but no verbs, que okay? no vayamos a utilizar verbs. Teacher, okay. ahí dice, ayer no, fui, no fuimos a la fiesta, eh... o no estuvimos en la fiesta. 
The second option. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay, use number three. Let's continue with the next one. One moment. It's gonna be temperatures or the weather. If you want, oops, <laughs> sorry. One moment, let me fix that. Temperatures, warm, hot. These are options, warm, hot, cold. We use the verb and I'm going to give you some, some ideas. Mm. The, the dog was hot. Temperatures. The dog was hot. Or I can say it sounds it sounds weird, right? But I'm saying that he was hot. The temperature of the dog or cold if you want to change it. Okay, now we can say the houses, the houses where, because it's plural, como ya sería plural, vamos con where, where cold uh, last weekend. Or you can say yesterday, Yesterday was very hot, okay? Temperatures, we use the verb in. Do you have questions in this moment? No sé si hay algo que quisieran preguntar in, in this moment. No, not yet. Okay, next teacher, use. Sorry, uh -huh. sorry, sorry, teacher. Uh, yes. The, 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 the law was hot. Mm -hmm. Como hot the dog. Man, the, man, <laughs> the, the hot dog. <laughs> um, that is like the temperature. Como, como con calor. Se traduce algo así como, como caliente. No es que esté enojado. No. No. It's not like that. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Next use. H. Edades, age, we use the verb be. Okay, recuerden que acá no vamos a utilizar have. Vamos a usar the verb be. Uh, okay. My brother, my brother was 23 years old last year, okay? My brother was 23 years old last year. Age, we use the verb be in the past. Ahorita todo lo que les pongo es en past tense, pero lo pueden usar en present tense, okay? We can use it in present tense, but we have to change the verb be to the present tense. So like que cambiar el verb be. Okay, next question, next sentence. Uh, John and, and Anna were 30 years old two years ago. One more example. I wasn't 25 last year, okay? I wasn't 25. When you talk about your age or people's age, you have two options. You can say, I was 25 
or I was 25 years old. But don't say I was 25 years. If you say 25 years, <clears throat> that is incorrect. El, cuando utilizan um, edades, podemos poner years old o solo el número, pero no se puede decir solo years. I was 25 years. Eso está, está mal. Solo o solo el número, I was 25, o ponemos years old. Tienen que ir los dos juntos. Ok, next. Next. Next years. Teacher, yes, el, old, el old solo para edades. En, it depends. Porque solo old significa también como viejito, como adjective. Sí, lo puedo decir como he was old or he is old, porque está viejito. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Ahí okay. también lo puedo utilizar. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Arnoldo. The translate for the second sentence in eight. John and Anna were 30 years old. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. What about it, Arnoldo? Ellos tenían 30 años, hace dos años. Ah, ok. No, tenían. O oh, sí, quiero ver si es afirmary. Ah, sí, afirmativo. Ajá, que ellos tenían esa edad. Sí, ok, gracias. Y para decirlo en presente, teacher, I have 20 years old. No, siempre utilizamos el verb be. I am. I ah, am okay. 25. You are 25. He is 25. Pero el have, no, para nada. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is the next use. Emotional states or feelings, okay? Emotional states. Para que se hagan una idea, con emotional states, we are talking about this. How you feel, como se sienten. Emotional states, hungry, angry, sad, excited. Feelings, emotions, we use the verb be. He, and we use the verb be, he was sad because his mom died. We use the verb be, he was sad. Um, next, the dogs were Hungry, we're hungry. Hungry es hambriento, ¿verdad? Nosotros en español util utilizaríamos have, perdón, tengo, ¿verdad? El verbo tener, pero en inglés no se utiliza ese verbo. Vamos a usar también el verb be. Si yo digo, I have hungry, that is incorrect. Es como lo mismo con años. No usamos have, utilizamos el verb be. The dogs were hungry. Or my parents were sleepy yesterday. Okay, so we use the verb in past tense. Let's continue with the last one. One more, one more use. And one moment. Time, okay, to talk about time, we use the verb be. Luis, do you have a comment or a question? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. You say, you say, uh, or incorrect, I have hungry. It is incorrect. Uh huh. How is it for correct? I, I, I am 
Usando el verb be. I am hungry. In present tense. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am. Oh, y oh, como oh. estamos en past tense, por eso lo, lo he puesto todo en past tense, para darle más énfasis a, a este tense. Ok, uh -huh. teacher, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance in this moment and, and then I give you the, the last, the, the last use. Okay, one moment. Ana, Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Brian Javier. Brian, Carlos, Antonio. Present. Okay. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jose Galileo. Here, ma'am. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Carolina. Present. I'm here, teacher. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Luis Alfonso. Present. María Concepción. Present. Thank you. María Elena. I'm here. María Ivania. Present. Okay. Then Nelson. Nelson Gavarrete. I hear Miss. I thank hear Miss. You, Omar Francisco. Let's say miss. Okay, thank you, Omar. Let's continue with Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. And Zaira, Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Sorry, one moment. Uh, hold on. I lost it. Ah, oh, okay. Here it is. Wendy, Wendy and Jenny. Wendy, Maribel Present. and Jenny. Present. Okay, thank you. Present. Christian. Present, Miss. Jonathan. Present, Miss. Okay. Arnoldo. Moment to go. Yes, Present. yes. I said at Arnoldo. Present. Okay, and Juan Carlos and Mayra. Mayra, Mayra. Okay, thank you. I have you now. Okay, let's continue with the last use. The last use of the, the verb be. We use the verb be with time when you want to talk about time. For example, the movie was at 9 p.m. Last uh, Friday, okay? Or last Friday, the movie was at 9 p.m. Um, next. The restaurant wasn't wasn't open at 7 p.m. Okay, so here I'm using the verb B. And the last one, he, let me think about another idea. One moment. Uh, okay. The party wasn't at 9 p.m. as an example. But the idea is that when you talk about time in past tense, we can use the verb be. Okay, so here we have some uses. And we're going to recap. Vamos a recapitular lo que vimos. And then if you have questions, please let me know. 
Okay, so this is what we have studied. We have the verb be in present tense, am, is, or are. In past tense, we use was or were. I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, they were. The negative form, just add was not. Was not or wasn't. Were not or weren't. In other form, y lo otro que les mencionaba es que si desean, pues, para todos los singulares, use was. Para todos los singular, we use was. Y para todos los plural nouns, we use the plural form, were. And then descriptions. Este es el primer uso. For descriptions, we use the verb be, locations, temperatures, age, when you talk about emotional states, and time, okay? That is when we have to use the verb be. Do you have questions for me? Entonces, el verbi es un poco especial, ¿verdad? Es distinto a, a los otros verbos. No es para acciones en sí, sino para otras cosas. Can you please send me one example or say one example using, using the verbi in past tense? One, one example using the verbi, please. If you want to, you can send it in the chat or you can say it. And then we will continue practicing. We will dedicate this time to practice. I was 30, 10 years ago. I was 30, uh-huh. Thank you, Maria Elena. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I was happy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Galileo. That's correct. Okay. Okay. Um, Oscar, okay. Allí está hablando de una activity, Oscar. Lleva el, el verbo, arrive, como que, que usted llegó. Entonces ya no está hablando justamente de tiempo, sino que, ajá, change it, try to modify it. Last week I was in the beach. Yes, Arnoldo, that's correct. Who else is ready? Wendy, are you ready? Or Nelson? Hello. Hi, Nelson. Do you have one idea Hello. in mind? I'm sorry. Hello. Hi. Sorry, Miss. Uh, yes. The, okay. The cat. Uh huh. The cat very very happy. The cat or cats, plural or singular. Singular. Okay. The cat was happy. Yes. Thank you. Jenny, it's correct. Uh -huh. We were at the club playing. Yes, Laura, that one is correct too. Okay. So if you are talking about locations, if you're describing someone, we use the verb be. Okay. You can continue sending your ideas. I will check them or send them to me by WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Thank you, Rodrigo. It's correct. I'm going to share something with you that we will use to practice. We will continue with this activity. And this is something that I sent by, by WhatsApp. I sent this document. You have to use the verb. Tienen que decidir si va a ir was or where. In the plural form or the affirmative form. Tienen que ver cómo va a ser eh, la forma del verb in past tense. And the same here. 
Part number two, the same. Complete the sentences with was or were. And thank you, Blanca. Uh -huh. The house was big. I was 45 uh -huh. last year. Yes, that's correct. Mayra, yes. Ivania, I was late. Solo cambiamos eh, eh, la posición. I was late for work. And yes, Lily, the sentence is, is correct too. All right, do you have questions about the worksheet? No sé si tienen alguna duda de, de la página, del documento. No? Okay, let me create the rooms. I will. You send in WhatsApp. Yes. At 7.50. Luego de, del mensaje de Oscar. Es el mío. Okay. One moment. Okay, you're going to be working in, in pairs and some, some triads. One moment. Uh, okay, please open the invite, open the, the room. Uh, okay, there it is. Sería where, ¿verdad? No, where was, eh, hablando de ella. Está, está hablando de ella, ajá. Sería where. De Susan. When were Susan baby born? No, es was. 
When was? When was Susan baby born? When was Susan's? Susan's, uh -huh. Baby born. Pero en los plural nouns dijo ya que se usara el web. Pero aquí no es que sea un nombre plural, sino que cuando aparece Pero que está igual para, de, eh, para ella es web. Para ella es no. Es no es was. Ay, sí, 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 because you can't like modify it, Arnoldo. No lo pueden ahí What? modificar. El documento no se puede modificar porque es una picture. Entonces, sí, sí, ya. Si les, ya se dieron yeah, cuenta. Yeah. <laughs> sí. Ah, yeah, okay. teacher, yeah. Okay. We work All right. In, we are working in, in the, the notebook. notebook. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Do you have teacher, questions have before question. I leave? Uh -huh. I have a question for you for yes. a, a personal question. Yes. Uh, I have 10 minutes uh, with you in, in private class or not? Let me let me check my program and I will let you know, Arnoldo. The, the group is in the group, uh, we are 25 persons. Mm -hmm. Correct. Let me check, let me check my program because today. I have Oscar, ya he quedado con Oscar, pero déjeme ver, Arnoldo, yo le escribo. Ok. Ok, los voy a dejar porque okay. me están llamando en otro room, but if you need me, just let me know, ok, and I'll come back. Ok. Let her see. Ahí está la teacher. Hola, teacher. Hi. Hi, yes, Luis. Hi, Luis. How can I help you? Good evening, Chair teacher. Miss, where is the exercise? On WhatsApp, aquí en el grupo, se los reenvío. Please, sí, porque, porque no, no, lo, no, no lo tenemos. Ok, ¿y ahora? Hoy sí. Ahí está. Ah, ok. Yes, yeah, the teacher. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Sorry, I didn't come before, but uh, I was talking to one of your classmates. Okay. Any other questions? No, no. no. Okay. No. Uh, you can't modify the document because it's a picture. So use your notebook to take notes. Write the answers on the notebook. And then we will okay. check. Uh -huh. Okay, see Thank you, you see you later. <laughs> All see right. You. Bye bye. Teacher. Hi. Where, uh, How are you doing? Where? Uh -huh. Where? Where? And H. Is uh, como se dice, teacher, tenemos un si es where, was en este caso, porque ya tiene where. Es que ese Solo where para... es diferente, ese where es de, no sé, de ver como de, de, de Ajá, Ajá, es el es una pregunta. Where es de dónde, porque el que lleva H. De dónde, Ajá. Ajá, otro, yo H intercalado. La pronunciación es, es, es la misma. The same pronunciation. Ajá. Así que dice, oh, where, where? Yeah. Where were you? Where, where? Sounds funny. <laughs> where were you at 11 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Está mm. correcto. It's correct. It is correct. Yes. And what is the okay. other, what's the other question, Anna? No, eh, la otra teacher teníamos, por ejemplo, en literal B. Ajá. B. Bueno, yes. Porque está hablando del bebé de Susan. Uh -huh. 
sería where o sería sí. was. Was, because it's one baby. Was, porque es él. Ajá. One baby. Ah, ok, uh -huh. thank you. Aunque esté hablando del bebé de Susan. Okay. Porque siempre es una persona. Es el baby. Uh -huh. Como que yo dijera ah, su hija, okay. su hija. One person. Ok. Igual que en he. Ok, Tom. El tío de Tom was not. Ajá. Ajá, también porque was es solo de él. Correct. He okay, was. Sí. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you, I'm Miss. going to let you continue. See you in a moment. Okay. ¿Qué le tenemos que poner? Hi. How can I help you? I'll tell you, teacher. Yes. I'm, I'm uh, here. Uh, estamos, bueno, estamos un poco confundidos en la parte 1. Nos fuimos uh -huh. a la parte 2 a avanzar. Uh -huh. Pero en la parte 1, perdón, no entendí cómo ¿Qué hay que tenemos. Hacer? You have to use was or were. Siempre es lo mismo. Tiene que colocar was or were. Ok, aquí está primero, creo que, bueno, las primeras tres son preguntas, ¿verdad? How uh -huh. old Richard was? Ajá, how old was Richard Ahí last year? Was Richard. Ajá, porque está hablando de Richard, one person. Y en la segunda, y en la segunda sería was he, him or, or Ellen. Así sería. En letter B. Porque, 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 no, porque en, en esta, por ejemplo, ah, la the second aquí, one. Yes. Sería ajá, was, the was, same. was, 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 prácticamente. Solo un, ajá, yes, was y el otro was, yes. Ah, ok. okay yes. Sí. Que, bueno, que <ríe> como no le, no, no le dimos indicación en la parte superior. Sorry. Que vimos de que era, era diferente y en esta sí lo tenía. Ajá. Pero, it's the okay. same. Ajá, I'm sorry. Sí, y same. tienen que hacerlo en okay. el notebook. Ajá, because it's a picture. Pero ya se dieron cuenta, right? De que no le podían escribir ahí. Sí. <laughs> okay. okay. Do you okay. have okay. more okay. questions? Do you have more no. questions for me? Yo you tengo Mayra? una. Ajá. Yo tengo una, pero no estoy segura. ¿Cree mm -hmm. que lo puede bajar, Carlos? Porfa. Claro que sí. Vaya, en la, en esa, en la oración donde dice, by the way, where your brother, that day. Ya está. Ah, Ajá. Esa, esa, teacher. Uh -huh. En esa nosotros le pusimos, where. Este, where. That's the one. Pero, o sea, no sé, yo no sé, no, no me convence, no sé si, si Por está el bien. Primer where, porque es where, where. Pues no. Sino que porque este como where, este que no se ocupaba, o sea, quiero ver si lo noté. Bueno, que sí se ocupa con los plural, vaya, ahí dice que es plural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, pues no, quizás sí, quizás sí. Porque, bro, yes. It is correct. Uh -huh. Y en el, en el, no, era la otra, es, es que como todos son hermanos, teacher. My brother, en, my sister. En, en, esta, en esta era de donde decía my era, brother, esa, my sister. Esa, esa. En I, aquí, bueno, creíamos que era where. Ajá, that's the one. Porque, you porque, have porque está a lot of people. nosotros. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es como uno que hicieron en el examen, no porque el último sujeto sea I, vamos a usar M. Uh -huh. Es como que yo diga Cierto. Carlos, Mayra. En mí. O sea, al final no soy solo yo. No, no puede ser guas. Tendría que ser guas. Yo ahí estaba confundida. Ajá, esa era. Pero es similar al del examen. Ajá. Correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. Pues eso era, Picho. <laughs> okay. okay. I will let you continue. You. Maybe in about three minutes, right? Quizás en unos tres minutos ya van a ir terminando. Supongo. Okay. Thank yes. you. Okay. Let me. I will visit other rooms. But yes, you can continue. Okay, entonces las primeras dos. There two. Hi, how are you doing? And you? You're already finished, right? Ustedes sí ya. Yes. 
Okay, excellent. Uh, Oscar, sorry, I just wanted to double check. Are you going to stay tonight? Okay, no problem. Okay, all right. I wanted to double check. So, do you have questions for me? Mm. For the moment, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, your classmates are about to finish. In about two, two or three more minutes, we will come back. Okay. En okay. unos diez minutos vamos a regresar en lo que terminan sus classmates. Pero ustedes veo que ya, ya, ya terminaron, right? Let Ojalá me see. Este bueno. mm, ya vi un mistake. Yeah. <laughs> ¿En dónde está where? Porque depende Esa. si es... No. Wait, give me one moment. Uh, this one. See? Oh, it because it's negative. Uh huh. Ah, uh, wasn't. Correct. Hasta ahí veo lo otro no lo logro ver bien arriba. If you want to scroll up and show me. Okay. Let's see. Oops, sorry. Uh huh. Yes, those are correct. So you did very well. One mistake out of like 15. That's excellent. An excellent work. Okay, thank okay. you. Very well. Okay, I think it's it's about time to go. So in one minute, the rooms will be closed. If you want to, you can come with me now. See you Perfect. there. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We will wait for your classmates to come and we will check. We will check the answers to see how we did it. Okay, now that all of you are back, let's check. Let's check the answers. Let's start with, okay, Arnoldo, number one, Arnoldo, please. Well, letter A, part one. Arnoldo? Do you I'm hear? here. Uh huh. Letter here. A. What? Hey, mm -hmm. the, the first, the, the part number one. Yes. How old was Richard last year? Was he 10 or 11? Correct. Okay. This is what you should have, guys. Todos deberíamos tener la primera, like that. Thank you. Now let's continue with Carlos, letter B. Uh, when when was Susan's baby born? Yes, thank you. Rodrigo, letter C. Letter C. In what season were they born? Uh -huh. Thank you. Juan Carlos, letter D. They were not born in spring. I am mm -hmm. sure. 
They were or were not. Then Ivania, letter E. Just activate the microphone, Ivania. Uncle Tom was not. Uh -huh. Was not. Was not. Was not at home. At home yesterday every evening. Evening. Yes. Thank you, Vanya. Now, Jonathan, letter F. Okay. Um. Bob was at the beach with his friend. They were all very happy. Yes, thank you, Jonathan. Blanca, letter G. Where? Uh huh. Where, where? Where, where to at? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yes. Okay. Do you have questions about the first part? ¿Tienen alguna duda sobre la primera parte? This is the way we all should have it. Así deberían de haber quedado. All of them. Questions? No. No questions. Okay. So, no question. Okay, let's go with the second part. Vamos a revisar la segunda parte. To see if we all have the same. Vamos a ver si todos tenemos lo mismo. Okay, let's continue with Zaira. Zaira letter A, part two. Okay, teacher. I went with Shirley last Saturday. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Zaira. Now let's listen okay, to you. Nelson, letter B. Uh, she was at the stadium. Uh -huh, she was at the stadium. Let's continue, Oscar. A. Where you there to? Okay, thank you. Correct. Now, Mayra. No, I was not at home. And you? Yes. Thank you, Mayra. That's the one. Jenny. <clears throat> Continue, Jenny. My brothers, my sisters, and I were at the exhibition. Yes, uh -huh. where? <clears throat> then Laura. Yes. Uh, by, by the way, where, where, where your brother that, that day? Yes, <laughs> yes, that's the one. <clears throat> Thank you. Wendy? I don't know where my brother Jim was. Was, uh huh. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Let's listen to Luis. The last one, Luis. Just remember to activate the microphone, Luis. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> yes. uh, he was at home with my, my both the other. Uh huh. I don't say, I don't. You don't have that one. No. No, teacher. Okay. No, no, no. And you guys, what did you, what did you use in the last one? Where? 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 Uh huh. But Where? the others were, because it's plural. Well, it's okay. plural. Thank you. Do you have questions about the second part of this exercise? No. no, no. Okay, that's excellent. No. 
Let's continue practicing. I think you already noticed what we have to do for questions. Creo que ya más o menos vieron qué hay que hacer para una pregunta. Pero para reforzarlo, porque ahorita vamos a practicar questions like this. I was sad yesterday. I was sad yesterday. If you want to create a question, just change the position of the subject and verb be. Cambiemos la posición del subject y el verb be. Entonces ya quedaría, was she sad yesterday? Pues ese es el único change, el único cambio que se hace cuando es una pregunta. Claro, si ustedes quieren, pueden agregar una WH question. Como que pusiera why. Okay. Why was she sad yesterday? She was sad because her dog died. Entonces ya ahí lo componemos un poco más. She was sad because her dog died. Okay. Or we can say, he was in the party. Okay, again, we change the position. Was he in the party? Answer, yes, he was. Negative form, no, he wasn't. Okay, in the case you want to answer in the negative form. Another option. They were sleepy in the class. Okay, question, were they sleepy in the class? Yes, they were, or no, they weren't. Okay, so that is the only change. El único cambio es el verbi cambia de puesto con el subject. Ya no es he was, sino que ya sonaría was he. Okay, we will practice that a little bit more. Sí, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. En, en la tarea eh, ya me están el did y ese orden no, bueno, o más adelante o no sé. <laughs> did es el primerito que veíamos, porque ese sí va con actions. Cuando les dije, tell me two activities you did. Y les puse ahí simple pass. Al principio de la clase, bueno. Mm, pero y mezclan was con did. De entrar. Was con did. Podemos mezclarlo en una... Aquí lo tenemos. Yo con así. W question. Entonces, salió ver, una, por ejemplo, en, el, en esta conversation aquí hay ambos. ¿Verdad? Ya los combinamos en esa parte, Wendy. Did you attend the training last week? Es a simple pass, porque estamos hablando de una activity, ¿verdad? De ir a un training. Ahora la respuesta, yes, I did. Es que, la, es que hay una tarea que no la... No sé el orden, creo que me he equivocado. Se la voy a, se la voy a, 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 a preguntar más noche. Yes, send it to me. Yo, yo le explico ahí. Pero sí, ahorita estamos ya empezando a ver past tense para que ya eso quede más claro. Ok, so this is the activity. Ok, this is the activity. We have to answer the questions about the paragraph. We will read the question, I'm sorry, we will read the paragraph and answer the questions, ok? And send me a private message. Les voy a dar maybe like five minutes or six minutes. Y luego revisamos entre todos que tengamos lo mismo. Okay, I'm going to read it first. Mary 
went to a training in Guatemala last week. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech, okay? That's the paragraph. And <clears throat> Anna, could you read it one last time? One more time, Anna, could you read the paragraph? Maria went to training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learning how to fix the equipment she used and how to prevent damage. On is the present what really helped and the clarify uh, those. Mary have he used a computer to present samples during the speech. Thank you for helping us, Anna. I'm going to help you with some words, okay, with the pronunciation of, of the words you see in red. This one is Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh-huh. Right. Damages. Tuesday. Damages. Clarified. Clarified. Tuesday, okay. damages, clarify. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And now please send me a private message. Okay, send me a private message with the answers of the questions. Se aseguran que sea un private, un private message. Y ahí solo ponen las numeran. Just number the questions. Number one and the answer. Number two, the answer. Eh, long answer, traten de darme long answers con toda la estructura que estamos ahorita practicando. Subject, verb, complement. Y si es el verb, subject, verb, complement.
Hello, everyone. We will check right now because of the time. Let's check and compare the answers. Vamos a comparar y ahí pueden revisar, ¿verdad? Si tienen lo mismo o no tenemos lo mismo. Okay, question number one. Zaira, how was the training? How was the training interesting? A long answer, Zaira. Con la respuesta larga. <laughs> <laughs> La hice con la respuesta, solo respondí. Ah, ah, solo la palabra. Ok, that's fine. Ya, ya lo voy a poner acá. Después se la digo. Ajá, ok. <risa> The training, Wendy. When was training? Number one. Ah, how was the training? Yes. The training was interesting because she learned how to to fix the equipment she mm. uses, uses and how to prevent damages on it. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. So we can say the training was interesting. And Wendy mentioned why, right? Because, and then she continued the idea. Okay, thank you, Wendy. And Saira. Now, question number two, Jenny. When was the training? Long answer, Jenny. Uh, when was the training? The training was the last Tuesday. Last Tuesday, yes, that's the long answer. The training was, last, was the last Tuesday. Uh-huh, last Tuesday. Thank you. Okay, so that is uh, number two. Number three, Laura, did you like it? What would be the answer? We have two options, short answer yes. and long answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I did like it. Ah, okay, thank you. So, so, we will change some things, but it's, it's yes, right? That's the answer. <laughs> Mayra? Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. did uh -huh. Just that. Just that. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yo, yes, I did. Le había puesto, teacher. Ah, okay, so you're right. And what is the long answer, Mayra? Esa es la respuesta corta. Y la larga? What would be the long answer, Mayra? Mm. Mm. No sé, teacher, la voy a hacer y se la escribo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carlos, what do you think? What will be the long option, the long answer? I think she, yes, I did. She liked it. Uh-huh. Yes. She liked it. Or she liked the training. Uh -huh. That will be the second option, right? Long answer. Okay, Carlos, thank you. Oscar, what did you learn? I was learned how to fix equipment and how to prevent damage. Thank you, Oscar. There is one thing we have to change. Vamos a quitar algo. Let's see, Luis, how, I'm sorry, what did you learn? What is the answer? The microphone, Luis. Okay. She was learning how to fix the equipment and how to prevent the match. That could be an option. Ahí estamos usando past continuous. Vamos a ver con simple past. But thank you, Luis Alonso. That could end. That could work. What about you, Galileo? What did you learn? I I learned mm -hmm. how to fix the equipment. She 
she uses and how to prevent damage on it. Correct. Thank you. So I learned how to fix the equipment and prevent damages. Okay, on it. Okay, next question, Juan Carlos. Was the presenter helpful? The presenter was really helpful. Uh -huh. Okay, thank he you. He clarified all doubts. Correct, he clarified all doubts. What about you, Arnoldo? What was your answer? Was the presenter helpful? Yes, he was really helpful. Mm -hmm. And short answer could be yes, he was, right? Yes, he, yes, he was. was. Thank you. Okay, then Ivania, did he use examples? Uh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh -huh. That will be the short answer. Yes, he did. And we have the long option. Anna, did he use examples? Uh, yes, he has the key example during a speech. Uh, so, so, yes, we have to modify the last part, Anna, but thank you. Let's listen to Elena. What do you think, Elena? Are you there? Mm, yes. Uh -huh. Long answer, uh, number six. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. he, he use example. Use examples. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so there you have the answers. There you have the answers. Long answer, short answer. We have to practice. Vamos a practicar siempre la estructura porque tenemos que a veces utilizar estructuras largas. Okay, do you have questions before I take the attendance? Questions or comments before I take the attendance? No, um, no. Okay. Well, so, clear. Thank you. Okay. So let me let me begin. Just give me one second. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilia. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Okay. Laura Carlos. Present teacher. Good evening, Miss. Thank you. Maria Elena. No. Okay. No me escuchan bien. No. No, Voy a apagar la cámara. No me mencionó. Yo, yo sí okay. la escucho bien, mis. Ahorita okay. sí. Okay. Voy a dejarla así no para. Mejor sí, no. Yes, ok, yes, pero ya, ya lo puse. Ya lo puse acá. Ahorita voy en María Concepción. Ok. Ven, María Elena. No, no te María Elena. Ah, ok. María Ivania. Present. Nelson Merino. Agir, Miss. Omar Francisco. Present, Miss. Oscar Arnulfo. Ensayan okay. Present, teacher. Wendy, Maribel, and Jenny Suleima. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Cristian Ernesto and Jose Arnulfo. Present, Miss. 
Present Miss. Then Jose Jonathan and Juan Present Carlos. Miss. Thank you. Present. Yes, yes, Jonathan. Present, and present. And Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. So with that, we finish the class. We continue till tomorrow, Friday. Good night. Sweet dreams Good to all night. of you. Good See you night. tomorrow. Good night. Bless you. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Good night, teacher. See you. Good night, teacher. See you, See you Carlos. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Rodrigo. Okay. One moment, Oscar. Uh, hold on. No problem. <laughs> okay, Oscar. So we will have a, a private session for a moment. This one is designed for you to ask anything you need to, to reinforce anything you wish. So tell me, how could I help you? Okay, yesterday you say uh, use the do, do it as. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember you say do or does for activities or in and verb to be for description the people, the places, or the other situation. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Correct. it's the same, con it's the same with use did. Is the same, but in past tense. Para el past tense. Hasta ayer supe la diferencia del uso del do y, y el be. Ah, me alegra <laughs> que hoy sí ya la conoce, ya la diferencia. <laughs> sí, la, la verdad que eso me costaba a mí, o sea, cuando voy a usar do y cuando voy a usar, sí. cuando voy a usar el nombre <laughs> normal, ¿verdad? entonces, pero con esa pequeña aclaración creo que ya voy formando mejor las, las situaciones. Ayer también nos pasó con, con el grupo que trabajamos uh -huh. y cuando pasamos, con, ¿cómo es esa situación? El trabajo que hicimos ayer de, de, cuando utilizamos la S. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es eso? ¿Me la regla de la S. Uh -huh. Ok, yes. Ok, so here we are talking about simple present. Esto aplica cuando estamos en, en simple present. Eso es lo primero, que va a aplicar solo en este tiempo, no en otros. Okay. Y hay dos versiones de la regla. Está una versión que es para, para he, she, it. Y está la otra que es para todos los demás. Hay... I, you, we, they. Uh -huh. they. Ok, para ellos. Con estos que ve ahí de he, she, and it, es donde va a aplicar lo de la regla de la S. La regla Pero de la S. solo en una, en una categoría, porque siempre hay tres maneras, ¿verdad? Negative sentences, affirmative sentences, questions. Todos los tiempos tienen eso. Pregunta, afirmación y negación. Lo de la S solo aplica únicamente para afirmar its sentences. Okay. Así como yo puedo decir, I love tacos. Debido al sujeto, caigo en esta otra versión, ¿verdad? Pero mm -hmm. si yo hablo de una tercera persona, entonces aquí ya aplica lo de la S. She loves. Ajá. Entonces ya caería en este. She loves Love. tacos. Tacos. Ajá. Y aquí sería okay. You eh, play soccer. Pero si hablo ya de un muchacho o una persona. Eh, Robert. He plays. Ajá. He Play plays soccer. soccer. Pero como le digo, únicamente en este, en este caso, affirmative sentences. Porque no sé Bye. si notó que ayer le quitábamos la S. Cuando hacíamos la pregunta, yo les hacía énfasis que ya la S que aparecía ahí en el ejercicio se la removíamos. Sí, no, entonces igual tuvimos ese, esa disyuntiva en el grupo. 
porque estábamos haciendo las oraciones en presente simple, entonces estaba, entonces yo me recordé de esto, pero no me, no, no, no me acordaba cómo aplicarlo bien o a quién aplicárselos. Eh, tenemos problemas o confusión también con el uso del ING en simple mm -hmm. present. Ok, si yo Robert playing soccer, ¿puedo decir Robert playing soccer? En simple present lo usamos, eh, puede ser de dos maneras. Una es cuando hay dos verbos. Como que si yo diga, eh, I like to read books. Entonces, cuando hay dos verbos, para unirlos en inglés hay dos maneras. Está esta donde se usa el tú y está la otra donde se pone el gerun, el, lo del ing. Que ya es I like y este queda con ing. Pero no es porque esté en progreso, sino que es una regla del inglés. Que el segundo okay. verbo se le pone ing. I like reading books. Aquí quedaría así. She likes to read book, books or she likes, siempre va la S en el primero, reading books. Entonces quedarían ya así los dos verbos. El primero y mire cómo queda el segundo. Ok, vamos a ver si, si captamos. Uh -huh. La S para el simple present es de, cómo se llama ahí no hay cambio no se puede hacer en cambio usando she he it en cambio para el I you we they sí podemos utilizar en simple present cuando es la está sucediendo la situación o a futuro el ing eh, can you repeat o, me... no entendí bien Ok, aquí en simple present, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Cuando la acción está sucediendo, utilizamos el ING. De oh, present continuous. Me está hablando ah, de present continuous ahorita, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok. Present continuous es diferente a simple present. Ese es otro, sí. Ah, ok, ok. okay. Entonces yo los había, me... yo, yo ahorita Ajá. los había mezclado. Sí, por eso estaba ¿verdad? ahorita. Sí, este, Ajá, este sí. es el que usa para traditions, habits, uh, para um, regular activities. Este es el que usa para eso. Okay. Program activities. Entonces yo le decía de que puede poner un verbo con ing, pero por ejemplo en este caso. El otro hay tiempo, dos ajá, el otro es present continuous, que es una mezcla del verb to be con los verbos con ing. Que la estructura lleva eh, like this. I am talking. Talking. You, que es una mezcla del verb be con un verbo. Con el ser, estarlo haciendo prácticamente. Ajá. Entonces ahí usa el ING, que sí es para algo que está pasando ahorita. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, creo que vamos aprendiendo yes. un poquito más. ¿Verdad? Yes. Sí, es un Déjeme proceso. Tomar. Ajá. No, sure. esto, y está largo. Yes. It's a long okay. process. Ya le tomé una captura para ver okay. qué tal. ¿Verdad? Okay, sí, no, perfect. bueno. Esperamos seguir adelante y encontrarla más adelante. Thank you, yeah. Oscar. Do you okay. have any other questions? Por el momento, no. No, no. that's it. I don't okay, have Oscar. other questions. Okay. okay. Have a Thank good night. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.